at eBettle, we have made it simple for you to join in on the action. You can bet real money on your favorite teams and the biggest tournaments in eSport. It's so easy that everyone can do it. But remember, you have to be at least 18. Combine your winning betting slip and make the victories even more glorious. Join us on the front row and experience a greater world of esports betting. Trust your knowledge and bet now. Go to ebettle.com. Live the in game ten. begins with you. And welcome everybody. As you could have heard me say, we're live in 10, which is now. This is the match between the Balkan Bears, London Conspiracy. It's a best of three. First match has been taken by the Balkan Bears. This is the winner bracket match. Of course, the loser of this match will be playing versus my insanity. Another best of three in the loser bracket. With me again is Dragon Drop. Dota Man, how are you doing? What do you think of the first match? Yeah, I'm doing great. I mean, Balkan Bears pulling it out. I told you before. Uh... Oh, I told everyone before that Balkan Bears, even though they are up against a team that have been, have been invited to the TF5 qualifiers and they themselves have not, and even though they're playing with two standards, you still can't really count them out. They once again go for the Shadow Demon Dazzle now, and yeah, that just worked decently well for them in the last game. And now London Conspiracy, they, they're done playing though. They were a little bit cheeky, or a lot, a lot cheeky in the last game here with the way they played it. But now they pull out something that's really strong right now, which is the Lushrak. A little bit of block pick as well with the Shadow Demon also picked up. And they go back for the Clockwork, which is kind of a stable hero nowadays in the offlane. Yeah, just with uh, using your uh, cocks to... Well, actually, they're on the Radiant. Yeah, there's also a place in the Radiant to cock your own and get them into the juggle. No. Uh, there's not anymore, I believe. don't no. think so, no. No, no, no. It's only on the Dire. I thought I might have been able to do it somewhere on the left, so essentially you can only cock like two or three creeps if you do it correctly, but it should at least pull the lane back a little bit. Yeah, but the Radiant offlane in general is considered to be much more easy in, easy in general for the offlane as opposed to the Dire side offlane, so... Let's so be able to get his levels. He has to be careful, of course, up against Shadow Demon Dazzle combination for the same reason as, as I laid out before, because that disruption into Shadow Wave is a decent enough heal bomb that you have to watch out for that. Indeed. Especially if you come with it up with something like Lena, even might even see a Lena in a trial lane, which you don't not see a whole lot, but which can definitely work. Yeah, the one thing they're not gonna get now again is the Lash Rack. That's now for. Yep. Yeah, that was for London Conspiracy. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. So at least you don't have that easy follow-up there for the Shadow Demon. So indeed, you, you will be looking at maybe a Lina. X hasn't been bent out. So that might be there as well. Also good combo oh, yeah. with the Dazzle. Irana. They actually love an X, but they're going to go for an Ancient Prophet. I mean, not the most obvious, but still possible with the combo with the Treans. That, uh, the Shadow Wave does bounce off that too. I can't see too much of that though, but... I actually love the axe, but also love maybe a Marana here. Just go full old school here with the Shadow Demon Marana combo. But what's more interesting now is London Conspiracy. We do see the Witch Doctor, which is kind of okay, kind of standard. But then the Ogre Magi, which is a hero that as soon as the Fire Blast got nerfed, no one actually really picked him anymore for some reason because I don't know. Still a really good hero, but he's rather farm dependent if you want him to be broken, right? Yeah, it's, it's if you want to get like the, phrase it, yeah. yeah, if you want to get like the agony him and just keep on stunning everybody left, right, center, get multi yeah. going like crazy. It's actually it's actually ridiculous the kind of damage output that you can have with just a freaking Nagam scepter. You throw out the fire blast, you throw out the ignite for good measure, uh, bloodlust to buff up your own physical right click carry, which you don't really have right now, but we'll oh. probably still see it that, that for the last pick. But yeah, that unrefined fire blast having a stun every six seconds with the potential for four times multicast for. Four times the damage, essentially, and also four times the stun duration, I think. But at least it's, it, it changed it's a little bit, so it's maybe three seconds or so, I don't know. Um, but yeah, 275 damage times four. 
And it's more than a thousand magical damage before reductions. And that's from one single spell that you have every six seconds, potentially, of course, here with the with the four percent chance. Not well, really being all that high, but still. You have it twice because you yeah, have even, unrefined. Even twice. You have it yeah, agonist, you, you have it twice. You have yeah. unrefined and a normal one. So And even if you get just get a double uh, double multicast, it's still four times the damage here if you if you can get it on both. But it is a lot of orangey, but just the, for the fact that you have that every six seconds, uh, it's less RNG and more just ownage, right? Yeah. <laughs> Use that old school word, maybe. But yeah, I really love that hero. It's a lot of fun character design as well. I love his phrases, everything he says. Um, fun to listen to, fun to play. We'll see what will it be fun enough for Lonely Conspiracy and whether they can pull out a win with that. Definitely think that they can. Um, Balkan Bears with also stock standard lineup here, so to speak. Maybe not the Shadow Demon Dazzle. I mean, we don't really see that these that combo picked up in the first one too all that often. Well, but the Balkan Bears actually so far have four of the same heroes. Yeah. <laughs> Just missing yeah, the Leshwork. As well, and Nature's Prophet, yeah. Just missing the Leshwork. This <laughs> has already been picked up by LC, so... The Balkan Bears are going to try and do something similar. Yeah. This it worked out so well, and LC is just answering back with a completely different uh, threat. Once again, I would, I would still say that might still see Murana here for the Balkan Bears. Lina now banned out on Conspiracy, just not wanting to deal with that, which is kind of one of the other obvious combos sniper. with the Shadow Demon. Okay, and the Sniper! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ha, ha. Sniper's time is actually over, but maybe Alon Conspiracy can bring it back, so... Yeah, essentially the sniper. Okay, the headshot can now be evaded, and apart from that, a sniper only real downside now is the uh, is that the laning stage was a little bit nerfed for him, with the nerfs coming out of scrap. Now, apart from that, yeah. it's essentially just the same hero. Yeah, Late the game, he's a beast. Really, really hurts him here with the shrapnel. It's you never have shrapnels available. It seems like in the crucial situations, or not as many as you would like. Five um, kind of the biggest parts, I would say. Refresh your uh, sniper, man. You gotta love it. Reserve. Get that extra Give scrapnel. I don't. I think they only even get one scrapnel back for it. So. Yeah, that's kind of bad. <laughs> it only costs you what is it, 350 mana, just to get one more scrapnel. Yay! I, I would love to see that. <laughs> oh my god, I would. Oh, that would be crazy. The day I see that in a pro game, I will give up casting for good. <laughs> Because it's so uh, freaking bad. I I'm gonna ask them if they can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that but would yeah, be crazy. Uh, Slada actually last pick here, which is actually worth pointing out, which is even more minus armor. Yeah, more, this even is more another... than last game here on top of the Shadow Fiend, plus it doesn't weave, plus the freaking um, Amplified Damage here, which is a great name for an ultimate here. And they're even gonna get... I mean, it's very descriptive, I'll, I'll give them that, so <laughs> can't really be too... Uh, too salty about that, but still. And I think they're gonna get even more minus armor. Somewhere in the back of my mind, they're telling me that Crap is gonna pick up another medallion. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And before all hell breaks loose, we're gonna introduce our teams here on the radiant on the dire side. I mean, we have the Balkan Bears. Crap is playing the Shadow Demon. We have Exist playing the Slaughter. We have Nice playing the Dazzle. We have Miracle again on the Shadow Fiend. And last but not least, we have Hook playing the Nature's Prophet. Uh, on the Radiant side, down there in the bottom lane, we've got Madara this time around, snagging that last rack for himself. And now, trying to secure the top row, and we've got Kaiser playing that Sniper Spartan on the Ogre Magi. Ganks, or S224J on the Witch Doctor, which only leaves Skylark on the Darth Lane Clockwork. And he should be able to secure that rune, or maybe not, but yeah, the Cogs will yeah, yeah, just so freaking good at that. Cogs, so. he's gonna put them down now. And, okay, that's maybe at the wrong side. That was kind of odd. Why was he opening the other side? <laughs> was he like to invite them in? Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Oh, it's it's kind of a kind of a red carpet, right? Yeah, like come as in. close as you get. <laughs> Dota. Come, hug me. And nature's prophet. He's gonna try and get the. A double creep wave here, <laughs> or something. This is actually. Yeah, she wants to push early, but yeah, the cast will put an end to that. And yeah, Madara also dragging the creep wave. So there's a double creep wave now, though pushing. Yeah. Out. This so... thing's gonna push out fairly heavily. I was gonna try to do it again, but yeah. 
Yes. No, it yeah, that's work. a double creeper, so he will get some experience over that. But Madeira is actually the... not ki killing the tree end. That's weird. <laughs> you don't kill him though. You can still get it. There you go. And Madara still can uh, he still can put a point into the edict, so they sometimes it can just burn fall into your face if well, you just he's get gonna killed. die. <laughs> he's gonna die, that's the first blood, okay. Ignite, a little Ignite, bit of a pretty cast. strong, yeah. Yeah, you can't run away from Ogi Meja with uh, some boots there. Yeah, once again, name of the game, cheeky here. This time on the side of Mark and Bear is a little bit too cheeky. You give up the first battle, man. And yeah, sometimes he's, if you do these kind of plays and stack maybe two creeper eggs up behind that as a nature's profit, you can't fall on your face even if you don't get caught out because hey, then there's a, a big push coming in, maybe opening yourself up to a dive, tier 1 tower dive, or maybe just a push here with all the track. He's not opting to put a point into either just yet, but he's, he's keeping his options open, just retaining one skill point for now. So double creeper, really easy to push the tower early down early Oh, as well. oh they're gonna go after Nias here on middle. There's already two Scrapnels down, there's gonna be the Cox in as well. Nias, he is gonna die here, he doesn't have the level yet to get the point into Shallow Grave. Very people. nice rotation. Pepe. Mm -hmm. No harm no foul, but yeah, really nice rotation there from Skylark. Didn't even see that, but... Using his time well, only level 2 for now, but... Once we're only two minutes in, so it's still a good quarter for that off lane. And the securing that kill for the middle lane is actually pretty good. I mean, Sniper, not really good up against Shadow Fiend in mid just because you have that. Uh, eventually, you have that range advantage, you have the right click animation advantage, you do have that um, zoning potential from the shrapnel, and you can't stay away from the razors, more importantly. I mean, at most, you're gonna get hit by one. Yeah, you can just keep your, uh, keep your distance. But... That was actually only the middle one. But yeah, until the actually the point that you have some yeah, some points into your take aim, it's actually gonna it, he has to watch out a little bit. Yep. Uh, range six fifty and Shadow Fiend has five hundred actually. Well yes, he has one point in take aim now. Oh yeah, okay. You just put it in there. Yeah, he's what is it? If he gets one or two raises off, he's a, he's dead. So, yeah, for sure. So I don't think he will be contesting the runes too much. That said, he doesn't even have a bottle and miracle uh, <laughs> wall neither. Yeah. Don't really need a bottle on the sniper. You don't want to go for that. You kind of want. He he he's gone for the double rage band build, which is uh, kind of helping out his right click damage. Which of course he doesn't have benefit from the necromastery that the sheriff has. It kind of needs that to even contest the right clicks here, which is getting much, much harder now with the 18 souls now up on the Shadow Fiend. Well, now Skylark actually teleported or faked out by Nature's Prophet here, but I'm not gonna go for it. But the tier, top moon will now be secured by both supports, so no joy for Skylark this time. But uh, he's almost level 4, so he's still doing well. Oh, he sees. Let's see. Does he want to get in? Nah, he won't be able to. Miracle. He's just gonna fill up his bottle here. No cheeky plays uh, this time around. Um, uh, what we do with this time around is though uh, less of a less of an easy access to the jungle for the Shadow Fiends, just because they they're on a dire side. It's much harder to, or it's, it takes much longer um, to go to like your medium camp up here to stack it up for yourself, and yeah. also hook being forced into the jungle. I mean, you can't really contest this bottom lane up against this kind of lane uh, up against this kind of a tri lane here. Yeah, these heroes just run at you, um, you just have the yeah. ogre in the front to start running at you in. Exactly, the trains won't really help you in that regard. So, you force an Aegis Prophet in the jungle and Hook will be able, uh, will be taking a lot of the jungle farm, so... Don't really have that quick get ahead mechanism here for Miracle just yet. Oh, you, you would sometimes say, like, your supports can just go and do that for you, but... It's not gonna be it for now, it's... With Hook already going into the jungle, that's just not an option that you will have. Yep. And that's just, yeah, that's gonna hurt him a little bit if he needs to catch up. But at the moment, he still is doing fine. He's a little bit down on CS. And he is a lot down on the... Uh, on the nice. Oh. Big Skylark. Okay, Skylark. They're gonna go mid. Sprout. Doesn't have a sprout though, and doesn't get no. the battle lock with the tree, and so there's another set of trees, but also a little bit too late, so he actually should be fine. Meanwhile, mid, Miracle, they're gonna go on him, they find the real one, and he will fall with Spartan, the Sonic circles around him for the heck of it. That was actually kind of a waste 
opportunity here from Falcon Bears. Yeah, I mean, what? the fuck teleported down into the mini. They may have been able to pick up the Galaxy on Spartan, but it stands. They don't get the one on Skylark. They lose Miracle, which is kind of weird because Miracle has been playing so freaking defensively the for two minutes almost here with trying to bait out the illusion, I mean, microing it, last sitting, last sitting with it, and stuff like that. But yeah. <laughs> It's Spartan just... just matching him with the patience play and coming yeah, he just in at the right time. Tower. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. care. <laughs> Top tower is under attack. Like, uh, congratulations on uh, sending underneath the tower. Now I'm gonna run at you. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Olga Major, man. Olga Major doesn't give a shit. Yeah. So much armor there, man. Too strong. Does he even have a stout shield or something? No, he just went to work. Yeah. Also, 3.4 three, 3 base health region. He just also randomly runs up in smoke on the mid lane and just throws out in the fire rest. I mean in Ignite. A little bit weird. I mean, normally I'd say, okay, maybe he wants to go on a warding trip, but... Yeah, this is what they're gonna do. They with, just wanna waste uh, a little bit of mana and then use the arcane. I would use smoke for that, I don't know. That was just... I don't know. He just wants to do that. He just wants doing to something to... here. Um, yeah, we've been talking about stacks for the Shadow Fiend, but there's actually a big stack here on the, on the hard camp here for Darwa to take. And yeah, they rotate the Lashrak into the jungle. As we see, Miracle might be trolled again, slowed down by the Ignite here. A couple of headshots are down further here. And there's the follow up stun. Hook is there as well, though, to try and knock down Kaiser. But a nice shallow grave to keep Shadow Fiend alive for a little bit longer. But Kaiser will just turn around and hook, bring him down, and Spartan should be able to finish off Miracle here. Um, maybe not with the battle charges, but yeah. With the rocket coming in, one last swing at the club. and. Uh, that's... 2 for 0? 2 for, z two for 0, yeah. yeah. Kaiser does not go down and... Yeah, it's not just the Ogre doesn't give a shit, it's also Kaiser and this destruction comes out on Spartan, not for sure what he's still doing there. But he's oh, he, he's trying to... For it. He, uh, he thought he was a little bit more tanky than he actually was. <laughs> I tried to go for knees again, but yeah, with the Soul Catcher on top of the destruction, plus the Heal Bomb coming into play. Although the Heal Bomb doesn't really matter that much since it is physical damage, so... Yeah, but still, there's still catching? a lot of units, and it's... Yeah, uh, it does help. It's st it still helps. Plus the soul catch on top of that, it's still good. And uh, Madara. He's taking a lot of damage here, but I don't know. All the tower shots, I guess. What, the, what can I do about it? There's no re Ref of Nature... Uh, yeah. ...yet on hook, so... We're gonna TP in two already, and there's gonna be a... ...pause here, coming out of Keyser. Yep. We have a ping issue, some lags. Gives me an opportunity to talk about what I wanted to say earlier here about Madara. I mean, he was, was rotating into the jungle, just using his spells, uh, spamming out his spells to farm it up, which get, gave some space to Skanks here on the Witch Doctor, getting up his level. He's now level 5 already, and apart from the Golden Bank on top of the boots, so... Not a crazy amount yet, but we are only 8 minutes into the game, so I'll also have to keep that in mind. But yeah, with that in mind, actually, you can look at the Sniper with face. The face boots and the ring of Aquila already up and running and another 500 gold. And Madara is actually sitting at almost 4,000 tons of net worth. Has the arcanes plus the soul ring. So now looking to finish up the magic wand and after that should be a pretty quick bloodstone, all things considered. Yeah, he's not going to be stopped at the What is it? He is top of the net worth chart with uh, almost 30 ahead onto the uh, enemy slaughter. So, it's uh, exists. He can actually buy his. Uh, He's blink dagger now if he wants to. Yeah. 2.3k. Is he gonna build a... This is just weird. Is he gonna build an Midas or is he just gonna build this? Because a Midas would've already been uh, purchased right now. Midas would've already been, been purchased. Yeah, I, I do expect a blink here. Yeah. Um, I do expect that PP to start picking up the pace now in terms of just gank, in terms of fighting, because... Uh... I don't know, can they though? I mean, they do have Dazzle, Shadow Fiend, Shadow Fiend and Shadow Demon, which is... Which are pretty good at that. But same time, Nature's Prophet at this point of the game, with as far behind as he is, he's not at the point where he can really help too much. We saw that in that attempt in mid, he just dies solo to Kaiser. Uh, essentially. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, he was even standing in the scrap now as well, so he was getting slowed, and his attack time, you know, it went down, and yeah, then he yeah. just died to him. But I do think that they need that blink on slot, and they need exists to start. Start doing something to get some real quick pickoffs. There they're gonna go. It's a miracle again here in the middle, but now they're ready for it. They're gonna start the TP rotation, and now Keyser is gonna die here. He might uh, 
have been able to mend it up last time, but this time it's not going to be so because it exists. It's also here again with the blink now. Blink showing off, and they got a double kill here right now. They did have to pay with Ninis for it on the bot lane. But they also got Basically, the tower. It's the Medaura. No health points actually. Soul catch on top of him. Uh, they don't have a way to slow him down just yet. But they do catch uh, Skanks here in disruption. But no fall up, so he should be fine. It's gonna be blink though soon on Exist. He's close. Amplified damage. Soul catcher, and they back off. <laughs> Put a lot of man on that, but he's still alive. It's all good. Yeah, the big pickoff, of course, was that sniper in the middle lane plus the Um Especially Miracle not dying there. He had like five health points left or something. Uh, it's just. This is just good, good for them. But, yeah. As long as Miracle. Point up into Ignite or Fire Blast, and Miracle would have probably died because I'm pretty sure that Spartan used both of the spells on the Shadow Fiend. Yeah. Yeah, he did use both of them in these on the Shadow Fiend, but. This wasn't bad enough. He's now finally level again. A miracle. He's uh, he's being slowed down already. They have a regen rune on top though. Should be fairly happy about that. And guys, he's actually using his uh, his scrapnel here to farm up one of the stacks in the jungle. Yep. Um, what is he going for? He must have bought something, right? No. Huh. No. So far, not yet. Let's just take a look at the net worth then. That might give a little bit more of a clearance. Here. And okay, Madaria is at the top of the net worth. That was fairly obvious already. Yes, it's a soul booster if he wants to exist. Yeah, he has his uh, blink, building a threat. And we have Keisher and E as well. Is it gonna get a morbid mask? It might just be a mask of madness. Oh man, and smoked up. Looking for Madara here. They will find him. Blink in, there you go, they're gonna hit him and he's just dead. There we go. He was not reacting there for a second, I'm not quite sure if he didn't actually have line of sight on these two heroes after the smoke popped. But yeah, don't think he would have gotten away here thanks to Blink, and it's exactly what Balkan Bear need to do. They have not a quick Blink on the Slava. He had free farm up in the top lane more or less, yeah, up against the Clockwork. So, um, they're gonna have to use that and they have to get a big advantage of that. They have to shut down the Shrek. They have to shut down the sniper, and that's exactly what they are doing right now. So they have a good game plan, and now we might see another fight here. Cube actually finding up against gangs, throws a disruption hope, joining the party as well, trying to bottom out with the treants, but now Kaizen's Martin has the reinforcements on the side of LC. Shrapnels come out, slowing everyone down. There's the assassin. They enough to bring out Cube, but Skylock here with the interception. Battery sword should do the trick here. Maybe there we go. And that was a nice try to, to come in there, but yeah, they weren't able to get anything. Skylark just walks in nicely on time, has his uh, blade mill finish now, and uh, he just picked up the kill there quite easily. Yep. He just was wondering if he should go in with his uh, blink dagger there, but I think if he went in with his blink dagger, he, uh, he would have died as well. Yep, yeah, for sure. Everyone else on side of LC was already zeroing, zeroing in on that position really. And is this still hanging around though? He wants to get the kill on Madara. If he if he blinks in though, he's in a lot of trouble. And now the Observer Ward also spots out the support. So. Yeah, they're so ready for this. Skylock is also Oh, cute. Hey, he, he's just gonna die here. He does use his disruption though, but Skylock is just. Skylock has a hook shot. Well, Doesn't even need it. Oh, well, it... he uses it anyway. Goes for exists here with the battery salt going. Yeah, does need some help though, and he does get it. Oh, miracle. Ah. Oh, ho, ho, Miracle just get brought down here, looped by a lightning and a fire blast. Exist is looking to go back in again, but after a little bit of help, he decides uh, to think the better of it and go back to base and heal up. I like to run away from the creepy because he's so low health. <laughs> that, was, that was really, really good play there from LC. Even though they don't get Exist, they do get something much more valuable, all things considered, here with the Shadow Fiend, who is much more snowball dependent than a starter is, I would say. I mean, Slada, if you, if you have the blink, that's all you really need early on. Be effective, blink treads, and then kind of have some breathing space. Shadow Fiend, though, you kind of want to stay on top of the top of the chain, of the food chain, so to speak. So bringing him down, definitely a good pick-off. Indeed. I do think, actually, as long as you can keep 
I would say that if you can keep exist down a little bit more, it's actually a lot harder for BB because Miracle can farm back. If you stop down the slaughter, he is stuck at pretty much whatever he has. Yeah, that's a good point too, though. Yeah. But yeah, in the end, if you're gonna get Miracle, that's also just fine. As long as you just keep those cores down while well, not actually losing any of your heroes, <laughs> it's always fine. You always take that yeah. threat. Yeah. The thing is, even if you, if you, even if you keep exist in here at this point where he is right now, well. Um, he, he's still going to be reasonably effective with the blink, with the treads, to just give him a little bit of extra extra health. But yeah, just the blink stun plus the amplifier damage. The miracles behind that, getting a couple of right clicks in, that's enough to just blow up any one target here on the side of LC, I would say. Even yeah. some like an Ogre Major with a high base armor. I'm not going to get nullified by that amplifier damage. Skylark actually missed a really easy deny here on the tower. On top, that was actually... Why not to see? Huh. But that sucks for me. I didn't calculate in the damage coming out from the uh, last catapult shot over there. Oh uh, yeah. That sucks I, for I me. I do that every single time. Freaking catapults, man. You know how much damage it is? 40 damage. 35. 35? What? I believe 35. Oh yeah, with, with the armor, of course. Yeah. Armor and 2 on tower. It's siege damage though. You can even check it now, 68, 241, uh, it's even less. 41, 31, 31 damage. We're both on. Damn, we're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So it's even less. <laughs> but still, the tower was at 20 health, so he should have just... It's a it. freaking siege creep, man. Just... <laughs> they only spawn every 5 minutes or so. Man. Like, who has time to rem memorize those kind of things? That's like, it's a siege creep, it's fucking OP. You just kind of last it up against that. And last it the siege creep either. It's just not possible. Also, just... lane, if you if you have a lane with, with your own siege creep in it, it just throws up, throws up the timings out of the window, because every every second or two, you have that extra burst of damage that just makes a difference between you getting the last it or not. At least it's, in my games, it's always a freaking case. Frequently cursed siege creeps because of that, but yeah, <laughs> just um, the woes of a scrub tier player like me. Yeah, you just uh, you just have to turn yourself into a siege creep, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there might be a mod that lets you uh, play a siege creep. Who knows? You you should look into that. Actually, love love to see Valve add a, a proper siege creep hero, <laughs> like that general style. <laughs> Running around like an old school trebuchet or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Heroes of the Storm has a freaking siege tank, so I don't see why we can't have a siege creep. I actually don't know if there was something like that. Oh, oh, oh hooks it in! They find knees! There, is he gonna? No, he's fine. For now, he's so fine, but he was still. Well, let's get it off, so. Yeah, he's. he's not teleporting out. Well, he can't really teleport out. Yeah, he can't. He can't off against better sword, of course, but yeah. It, it took him three times, three cast animations to just get off the weave in the end. Yeah. <laughs> that looked well, really funny. At, at least make an LC work for it. There's an assassinate now on Cube. Oh, actually, a lot of damage. He might actually fall with the Ignite. Midara coming in as well. Yeah, his disruption. Flame will not connect. And now Merkel from the side exists as well. Looking for a blink stun. He does get it on two. Now Merkel there with one race, but he gets stun up double. Double stun here from Spartan, and now uh, Death Ward actually not enough damage here, but there's plenty with the Disruption actually keeping him in place, preventing his escape. So, a little bit of misplay there now exists on the run, does not have a blink in as he's being chipped away by Kaiser. But Nihi is joining the party here after respawning, will be able to keep them all alive. Another assassinate comes out, man. It's just third. No, you're just no, charging he up, but it. Okay. No, exist. He is not uh, done yet. He wants more. Oh. There's gonna be a blink in. He can actually gets two here. Kishir, he gets amplified damage on him and he just kill him off. Who comes in now as well? Another amplified damage comes out. Sp oh no, Skank. He's stuck there, but uh, they will leave him. They want oh, another prize. He gets just get blocks up here by all the three ends in the necro books. You see that heal bomb, man. That's just nasty. freaking three ends. Yeah. You just can't stand next to that. That's shit. Yeah. That's gonna be your death. Really ballsy there from Exist to go back in like that, but yeah, LC not really counting for the blink double stun. Also, not a lot of mana on the Witch Doctor. I mean, and you have a lot of mana for a cast there, maybe Ooh. it goes a little bit different than the Aura. Disrupt use, but the Pills Nova still gets him yeah. there. He's just running with his haze rune underneath there. But oh, there is still the crush oh. in time! 
Madeira is he gonna take his fall? You know, he can keep on running it. Well, Skylock in the back picks off Hook, which is Hookshock. Knees falls now as well. There's another three people down for the Balkan Bears here. Well, if Miracle actually got directly got there, then maybe Madara doesn't doesn't get away. But then again, he's so freaking fast on that that Rainbow Pony. Yeah, if you if you get yeah. a Ace Rune on you, then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, there. three more heroes down, just like that. And, wow. Yeah, that's that's the kind of track that we didn't quite see in the last game from Balkan Bears. I mean, they still ended up winning, but not in the same way because now we see 13 Bloodstone charges on the track. A lot of health, a lot of mana region, plus the, plus the Yule Scepter, of course, as well. Um, to give him that easy setup for the splitter or for zone. Or wins once they try to get him, just activate Pools Nova, throw yourself into the air, and you have a couple yep. of seconds of free Pools Nova time. Always yeah, uh, for play. Even the, the normal counters that BB has, I mean, like the like the, like the Sprout, I mean, okay, can kind of time in a, uh, can kind of keep in place for a while, but it's only level one Sprout, so, so only three seconds. And then the disruption, even if if you have the pulls over going, disruption you're actually is not helping gonna him. stop that. You're just helping so you're, him. You're actually helping him. Yeah, exactly. In most of the situations, if you disrupt yourself, it's also just an easy setup for the Neither. for the split earth as well. So. It's, not ideal in this situation and miracle. And miracle. Also not ideal caught in that position, but they don't actually have detection. Ah, oh, that is Let's get that in this rune, I think it was, yeah. Ended up saving him barely there, but still. He still had the mecha, mecha ready as well, so. Yeah. Neez so that detection he would have died for sure, but... Oh yeah, definitely. Knees no was rotated again. No amount of sleep charges will save you than that. But there he's just farming up everywhere. He's building towards his BKB now. Well, there's an aggressive smoke here coming out from the Balkan Bears. Trying to look for something, but the only thing they will maybe find here is Kankant. Is this your average witch doctor? Yeah. Very interesting position to hide in there as well from Skanks. Well, who the hell is going to expect this? <laughs> yeah. Normally, if, if they were to blink, they would have blanked down there. Yeah, and they if you blink down there, and yeah. yeah, if you get a ward, you also just put it here. And yeah. then you don't see him over there either, so... Just good positioning there, and they have to go out of the jungle. Just wasted the uh, time of three people. To just yeah. take a cruise down the... The jungle do get out one or two wards, but I'm pretty sure that they should know this. Maybe. This one... Uh, didn't they have this, the same ward a little bit earlier as well? So they, yeah... They replaced that now, essentially. Yeah. That's true, and there's gonna be the smoke up, and we, without actually this, uh, this observer watch pulling that, so. a bit more blink things here coming out. Yeah. Oh, nice! So shot here into the tree line. Actually, so he is, does get the shot wave off again. There's no way to teleport out. Oh, Strapsex! Wow, what? That's just a completely blown up clockwork there. The devil does kill of Nias, but this is not worth it at all. And they actually gave yeah, away really. Lucky here. The cask actually bounced up to the high ground as well, keeping uh, Exist away from blinking in. Uh, this could have actually ended a lot worse here for uh, London Conspiracy, but now they're just able to still transition this into a push. I don't even know what happened. Was it just Shadowfiend just raising a couple of times? It's just so Races. much worse times coming the way of Clockwork did. He just dies? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There was I only bye bye. On top of the uh, on top of the soul catcher, maybe I don't know. Um, I, we should have progressed onto the five recap. Yeah. Uh, a lot of spells we used there. I'm not quite sure what on. So. Yeah, you can always use the combat log to look into it, but yeah, I feel like doing that. And exist. He finds Spartan, but there's already the heals into Splitter, but he uses his BKB. Mm. He's really committed to killing Spartan here, but is it worth to just kill a support? Oh, he doesn't even kill him off, ah. and he has to start running. Well, this is not a worthwhile BKB here. Oh, hookshot, nice blink away. Just in time. Otherwise, he would have died there for sure. Yeah, BKB down. Just don't, kind of miscalculating a little bit that health region. Oh, Spartan's still alive by the grace of God, really. And yeah, actually, with that le less uh, Wrath of Nature that they just used, they just showed where the wards are. Yeah. This instant dewarding coming up here from the side of uh, London Conspiracy.
Um, yeah, we can we can take a look at Kaiser and then we see, okay, Mask of Madness, Sergeant Yasha. Actually, decent items here, not quite as good as you kind of wished him to be. He's sitting right up there with the Shadow Fiend though, and the other one that's 3,000 ahead of the Shadow Fiend is also on your team, so you're still good. And um, you not only have the Mask of Madness, you also have the Bloodlust, which is not something that we've talked about yet. Of course, uh, Bloodlust just now being starting to be picked up by the Ogre Magi, but it's something that's going to be super effective in the late game. Um, yeah, even extra if attack speed, yeah. extra movement speed is gonna work wonders for for the sniper later on. Especially once the time comes that he has to switch out his mask of madness. He still essentially has about the same uh, attack speed then for, but then he just needs to have like the bloodlust on him. Yep. This is gonna be happy. Yeah. Well, my lot. Yeah. You know, uh, late late game. This is gonna be won by uh, by London conspiracy quite heavily. They actually gonna take it while the. Uh, Rocket Flare was uh, cooling down here, and they, so this has been spotted, but... Roshan gets down so damn quickly here between the Amplified Damage and the Medallion now. And but there is already a hookshot in! Oh, he's disrupted, so he can't get off Miracle! He is getting off a nice Wrecking of Souls here, and, and another blown up clockwork here. Now Quetbe, he's the next focus of attention actually for LC, but... Uh, yeah, but there he gets a... Uh, there was two kills in there, but it's actually gonna be end. Spartan gets another one, actually three down already on the bulk of Bears. Miracle still has his... Uh, is Aegis, Ex yeah, Aegis is able to uh, blink out from there and that's a 2 for 3 Tate and actually in favor of uh, LC. That looks really... Uh, it's actually They don't even. get the Aegis, they lose Madara. Even a uh, gold change kind of even and XP change actually going the way of Balkan Barriers. I mean, they lose both their supports but... They lose three heroes. Madara but... going down there, that's kind of the most important part. I mean, he had the PKB running going into the pit, but he was perched down, so really slow as well. And um, yeah, just right click down by the Shadow Fiend, who had his own BKB going, so he didn't really care too much about Madara either. And yeah, Aegis is still on him. I do want to give that win to BB, yeah. to be honest. After I looked at it, indeed, especially since Madara is the number one uh, <coughs> Madara armor. wants to get in here in top lane. Yeah. Uh, gonna go again. Exist kind of lifted out of the of the stun, but he's all alone up against four years. Does a good amount of damage, and then he just commits suicide. Yeah. Has bloodstone down six charges just because of two freaking deaths. And all of a sudden, LC. I mean, don't want to say th they threw it because they still have a lot of gold in him, and now Kai's actually surpassing the Shadow Fiend in terms of net worth, but still. Have some series of really weird decisions. I mean, going in like that after Roshan fell. Well, the funny is they're actually still, even though they just lost that fight, even after the fight, they're still just <laughs> climbing up. They didn't really lose that much. It's so weird to see. <laughs> yeah, it's just because it's essentially. I just don't agree with my gut. I don't know. And Skylar gets a kill here, but he will die for it as well. One for one trade. Oh, so he uh, gets a kill <laughs> first, so. Yeah. And now, actually, it's. Blink Decker on Miracle. Madara gets the Necro Cruise and that's 400 gold. Yeah, that Can't helps. forget that. If you if you give away these Necro Creeps at level 3, and if you don't actually make use of that uh, extra last world damage, Madara has to be careful though. If he gets caught out again, this time around though, he has some help coming in from a Spartan. It might not be so bad, but yeah. 400 gold for Necro Creeps, easy money for Madara. Yeah, he will now take that any, uh, yeah. any day of the week. I'm working on... Is that gonna be an AC or Shivas? What do you think? On whom? Uh, on Madari. He does have the plate man. Oh, now. yeah. Right, um... Shivas. That's usually what you pick up on him. An AC is fine, but then you're just picking it up for the sniper. Not for yourself, really. Yeah. You're not You're not the one dealing a lot of the physical DPS. Oh... Oh, man. Oh! oh Skala goes back in here with the hookshot and the assassin comes out. Wow! That's a death quap. I know what that first and burst damage was though. What's the feed? I don't know. That was just a blink game with hookshot. Okay. Uh, or, or no no. Uh, it was actually the purge we might have returned there with the uh, with the Oh yeah, ball. yeah, that must have been it. I think that was, was like the biggest two part. Two big of it. sets of burst damage. One the assassinate to finish him off and then then before that it must have been that blade mail purge, yeah. Good point. And LC, they're gonna start pushing in, although Miracle still has the, uh, oh. the Aegis. Be careful though. Exists looking for. But he's being put up and Sword, and now they see him BKB, only gets the stun on one. Death Ward now comes out on a really good position. 
Gets a lot of damage on the road. He's gonna get bursted down. Now Miracle comes and chances up the ultimate. Will blow up the Witch Doctor. But that's about it. Spartan also falling here. But Exist still looking for more. Monaro does not have enough BKB. Scala comes back in. But lifts it up into the air. Once Exist. He now gets on up on the spin off though. So he will still fall. Miracle now. He kind of blew his load. So he has a little bit of mana left. But apart from that, only his right clicks. No BKB on him. Still has the Aegis though. But now Monaro looking for him. Looking to proc that Aegis maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get a kill here. Meanwhile, here's Scala. Yeah, he's, he's gonna get a cube as well. But and yeah. FT sure ro rotating in as well he's, uh, here. Looking to help. And he is able to help this one out. He's not gonna get a raise off in the position where Kajer is. And that's a five man wide. It is. Very, very closely. As Clockwork is very low. Sniper very low. Madawa low on mana the entire time. But those are. Really good fight for LC, especially since they get a couple of extra bloodstone charges now into the Shrek again. No one really dies, no one afford I mean the supports did, but not before Witch Doctor got a really good death ward off that kinda of helped pick up Hook straight off the bats and Ogre Major also blew, uh, did what he needed to do there, so now okay Madara once again, don't get caught out. Well oh, who is getting caught out? He's just turning around and finding this one. But yeah, it is a, in the end, it's a BKB just for the is here. At the moment, he puts himself up and it's gonna be the hook shot. They find Hook. <laughs> and a little bit of Warp Punt there, and now Hook is dead. <laughs> yeah. Warp are real. Four Seth on Spartan. He is melee. He goes in the front line. Quepe. Will this assassinate kill him off? Yes, it will. Oh, Quite wow. easy. And that's another. Oh, what is it? Three people down. Yeah, and nine. this <laughs> is gonna not be right. Not even back from the dead yet. And there is Vimax available if they want to keep the Rex alive, but... They will have to use sure it now, but... This is, uh, if they don't buy back now, it's gonna be too late, though. Yeah, this is gonna be too late, because if they go in with these two, they're just gonna die. Like, that's just stupid. Yep. Well, they have to blink PKB into Requiem, but they don't really have a lot of souls to play with. Yeah, but even what will they do? They can just walk out of their four steps, they have a lot of mobility. Yeah. Only if you... Stun from Exist, but yeah, LC being very diligent about that, not, being, not opening themselves up. To uh, multi heroes down all that often, so. Of course, a shrapnel is very nice to <laughs> zone him out. <laughs> okay, they just denied the, uh, the middle uh, race for X. <laughs> so, a little, no gold for uh, LC on that, I believe, or just a little. But just look at the graph, it just spiked up 14k oh, wow. uh, gold and XP. So, uh, yeah, if, if you look at Madara, it feels like two minutes ago we were sitting at 14,000 gold, now at freaking 19,400. It does have the she was completed as we saw the last fight. A and Slark, a Skylark again didn't get the, uh, the last hit here on the tower. Yeah. Wasn't able to deny it. Madara also has the Boots of Travel recipe on the courier, so and Kaiser also working on this Skadi, which is finished now, also sitting on the courier. So. A lot of big items coming out from the side of LC and. With the map control advantage that they have now as well, with middle lane being down, they will be able to shift their focus to the top tier too. And they should be able to, with one more fight to round on another set of racks, maybe the game, depending on how well BB fight. They're not out of it, out of it yet though, they still have a two man stun here. With and Miracle! Oh! Exploded! No! gets the BKB off, though. now the Death War comes out, exists, still eating that. And now Miracle, next on the list, slowed down, no more BKB, and Miss Oak Shop, are they? That yeah, was off, but... He can, but he's gonna get... Actually, Miracle gets the blink out, thanks to that. Now, I don't know. No more purge, so heals pretty fast. You both fall after the... But this Gask is in. really going, just bouncing around and keeping oh, Hook man. here, so they just <laughs> was Hook, uh, Hook his life. Now the easiest dead as well, and even... Well, Miracle? Another fight, man, what? Although it was yeah. all over the place, LC just really won this, like, quite easily, though. Yeah, this... This is the point we were saying, alright. Got yeah, kind of the best initiation that you can fall for, but you blow up the Spartan with. Yeah, after that, I mean, Madara gets the BKB off, so he survives, and then everything just goes to hell with Kaiser joining in here, Skylark also joining in. I mean, you try to use your defensive spells as best you can, but I, I, we've talked about it before, Disruption not really the best defensive spell in this game. Well, it did help him there out with uh, the blink, so. Yeah, but he still died at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so, and Hookie, he, he, he has enough, off. yeah. He doesn't want to get hooked again. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no, it's on exist. <laughs> he is still dead. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> but no. That was the last hook shot of this game. game. Yeah. And now he's one for one. 
a lot of people happy now that they didn't just lose their uh, their rush just yet. This London Conspiracy is able to get back this last match. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see this uh, this game go the full length into a best of three. We're gonna be back after some uh, commercials and other things and got uh, players cool down a bit. And uh, we'll be back soon as possible. <laughs> 